don't oh wanna God. see me fall I even focus on the door I don't really give a damn about what they talking about I don't rank up the motherfucking deal YouTube. This your boy Dante Sports Talk live streams. Um, I thank y'all all for the support and love last night when I hit that 500. But I did lose three subs in that process. So the three sub people that unsub to me, I thank y'all for unsubbing to me. I'm still gonna hit this 500 by this weekend. I'm still gonna hit it. So we pretty much still will have the twenty dollar giveaway. We pretty much so like I say. Uh, shout out to Miss Princess Fame. Shout out to uh my CEO Zion. Shout out to NBA Edits. Shout out to uh my boy Playboy KD, my boy Billy Buckets. Shout out to my boy uh Jerron the King who helped me out a lot. Shout out to uh everybody. My cousin Truly. Shout out to everybody that uh helped me out a lot, man. Appreciate it so much. Appreciate all the new subs that's up to me. And shout out to uh Supreme DL for coming in my stream, man. It was a blast, man. Shout out to him. It was a blast. I couldn't be more happy. I couldn't have a, even a better day yesterday. Let's uh great day yesterday. Let's try to carry the momentum on to today. So like I say, uh here we go. We um on the uh last non playoff team before we uh, enter in our playoff basketball teams. So this last team had a very, very good season. So Despite that they uh, were in the night uh, seed in the Western Conference, they did not make the playoffs. They did fold it at the end of the season. They did fold it at the end of the season. But I thought this team had a spectacular year. Uh, they made some great roster moves. They got they got Trevor Ariza, a great veteran who can shoot, great leadership veteran. They got they signed Harrison Barnes back to a deal. I think a four year deal, ninety million dollar deal. They get Dwayne Deadman, who's a pretty good big man who can also step outside and shoot. Uh, this team did it. This team did a heck of a job last year, man. This team did a heck of a job. Despite they didn't make the playoffs, they were in the eighth seed for by like almost in the uh almost at the end of the season before the last probably the last week they had dropped up out of the AC and uh the Clippers end up making the eight seed. They were competing, but the Clippers end up having that momentum. They never relinquished. But I thought this team had a great year. We talking about the 2018-2019 Sacramento Kings, who finished, like I say, uh, head coach with Dave Yeager. Um, executive was Lottie, Vladi Debach. Uh, I thought he did a heck of a job. Like I say, De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Hill. They no no. I think Buddy Hill. Most people was going to consider him as a bust if he stayed in New Orleans. But Buddy Hill has definitely picked it up since he was traded to Sacramento. So that means Vladi D. Bob did a great job of uh, executing that trade. Uh, they, lost, they, uh, they got Trevor Reza. They went and got um, signed Harrison Barnes back. They went and signed uh, Dwayne Deadman, a nice veteran. They signed some veterans in that locker room, man. But like I say, Iman Shumper was a good veteran, they said. But like I say, Sacramento finished uh, 39 and 43. That no matter what, don't look at that win losing record. This was, despite what the Kings was with the last pop, but they haven't made the playoffs since 2002. In spite all of that and all of that losing, this was a heck of a season. 39 to 43, now that's a heck of a season. That's that's a damn good season. It's just you're in a better conference. You're in a tougher conference. That's all. They didn't finish strong. Like I say, they averaged 100, 114 points per game. They could score. They could score the basketball very, very good. Uh, they were fifth in pace. They did push the pace because of De'Aaron Fox is the fastest player in the NBA. Uh, uh, they average. They gave up 115 point, three points per game. That is a that, that is cruise. They were cruise on defense. They could they could score. They couldn't stop no damn body. They could score 114 points per game. That's nine out of 30 teams. They couldn't stop. They just couldn't stop nobody. They couldn't put the stops uh, together when they needed. Um, offensive rating 110, 110. Uh, that's 16 out of uh, 30 teams. That's bad. A uh, defensive defensive rating uh, 20 out of uh, 30. That that is terrible. They were terrible on defense. They were good on offense, but they were terrible. Even more terrible on defense. Uh, Dave Yeager done an excellent job. I thought he done an excellent job with his damn basketball team. And my MVP, my offensive MVP, uh, goes. I'm gonna give it a share. I'm gonna give it to uh, Buddy Hill and De'Aaron Fox. I'm because these two, these two guys together is very, very good. They very, very electric. Uh, Buddy Hill has definitely improved his game. Uh, Harrison Barnes. With his stint with the Sacramento Kings, 28 games, average 14 points per game, average uh. Uh, four rebounds per game. Buddy Hill aver averaged twenty point seven points per game. Uh, he shot he shot eighty eight percent from the free throw line for Buddy Hill. He shot forty two percent from three. Very damn good efficient. 
Uh, De'Aaron Fox averaged 17.3 points per game for De'Aaron Fox. Um, he shot 72, 72% from the three-point free throw line. That's not very good. But he improved. He shot 37% from the uh, three-point three line. That is very good for De'Aaron Fox. Uh, Boba, Boba Yanovich, not the uh, one that uh, signed with Utah, but the one that's uh, that he's pretty good. Uh, he was hurt pretty much half of the year. Uh, he was he averaged 14 points per game. He was pretty good. How about Willie Collins Stein? Averaged 12 points per game. He won. He 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 got up out of out. He re, he didn't resign. I think he went to uh, Golden State or something like that. Willie Collins Stein, Emmanuel Shumpert, his time averaged nine points per game. Marvin Bagley. How about the rookie? Very good rookie season for Marvin Bagley. I am very impressed with Marvin Bagley, the way Marvin Bagley played last year. He killed the Rockets in one game. Uh, he killed the Rockets. He, he had about like 26 points, 15 rebounds in one game. He averaged 15 points per game. Uh, I think five rebounds per game. He was very, very good. Marvin Bagley, I thought, was very, very good. Uh, he shot 69% from the free throw line. He shot, uh, let me see, what is this from the three-point line? What he shot? 31% from the three-point line. He will improve on that. Uh, Iman Violita was very, very good for them. Uh, uh, 9.6 points per game. Yogi Fair added 6 points per game. Uh, like I said, but, uh, Harry Giles never could get involved. He uh, averaged uh, 7 points per game. He was pretty good also. Uh, but like I say, man, uh, I liked this team, man. This team was uh, fun to watch last year. All last year, this team was fun to watch, man. Sacramento, again, goes 39 Goes 39 and 43. That is very good for Sacramento, despite where they finished at the last couple of years. They haven't made the playoffs since 2002. The uh, coach Dave Yeager, I thought he done a great job. Executive lot, Vladi Dibot, you know who used to play for those sac great Sacramento teams in the 2000s, uh, was is a very very good executive, and he done a great job last year of turning this around. Like I say, uh, I don't see them being a playoff team. I see them in the next two years being a playoff team. I don't see them being a playoff team ne next year. I think they got great young talent. I thought they had an excellent season, man. To be in a nice spot, 39-43, and 43, they beat a lot of great teams last year. They were very, very good, man. They were very, very good last year, and I'm very impressed the way these Sacramento uh, Kings uh, turned out uh, impressive. They haven't drafted well throughout the whole years. But they, they uh, made that trade for Buddy Hill. They drafted De'Aaron Fox. They made a uh, good draft. Uh, they made good draft getting DeMarcus Cousins out of that. That's the one they got right. They got De'Aaron Fox right. Uh, Buddy Hill trade, they got that right. But other than that, they used to, they used to not have drafting good people. But they turned... They turned their season around, man. They turned their season around last year, despite they didn't make the playoffs. I thought it was a very successful season for the Sacramento Kings, like I said. And that said, man, uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Shout out to uh, my princess, Princess Fame. Shout out to everybody who subbed. Shout out to Supreme Dio. Shout out to Jerron the King, my boy Playboy KD, my boy Truly Ankles. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. My boy NBA Edits and my uh, CEO Zion. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all mean a lot. Five hundo still on the way, man. We hit it last night, but three people on sub, so thank you guys. Thank you guys. The grind never stopped. Y'all already know. I'm out, guys. Thank you guys. I'm back on to another video. Y'all let me let me comment, like, and subscribe. Let me guys let, comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know, fans, what, what y'all think about Sacramento uh, King season last year and what should they improve on next year. I thought they had an awesome season by Sacramento. Very impressed. Thank you guys. I am out. Much love to you. Peace.